Hello everyone, I'm back with Phil, I'm back with Andy and we're going to do a bit of an explore on a former colliery branch. We're in Swanwick, which is in Derbyshire. We're going to have a look at the old Swanwick colliery branch, which was the Midland Railway. We're also going to have a look at a little tram line, um, which hopefully there's some remains of, isn't there? Which used to take the coal out of Swanwick colliery up to Cromford Canal. We'll see what remains there are of that, but there are hopefully, fingers crossed, some headstocks, some, some mega, mega old 19th century headstocks at the end, if we can find them. See that bridge in the distance there, just there? That's the Swanwick Colliery Branch, but originally there was a tram line that came across here. Now, we thought there might be some remains of it perhaps, but we stumbled upon this because, I'll be honest, I needed a wee. And so we found it. That would have been, formerly, a, a, uh, a tram line that went under this line here, which is the uh, Midland Railways Ambergate to Ply Bridge line. That's right, isn't it? Right. Okay, so what we do, We'll try and get up onto this line here and then we're going to follow it all the way to the colliery itself. So where we are now, it's the, it's the Midland Railway Centre which is a heritage line. So there is actually a little bit of track remaining at this point. Um, we're going to you know, try and get up onto that if we can and then eventually obviously that disappears. And then I think we have to follow the, um, the tram line for a bit. So we're kind of on and off the two until we get past Riddings um, Industrial Estate, which is which is just in the distance there. That swallowed up a lot of the track bed annoyingly. Here we go. So we're just coming under the bridge. This is the branch. This was built in 1875 uh, when this Ambergate to Pie Bridge line was built. Like I say, it's a, well not all of it, but some of it is a heritage line now. There you go. So what we're gonna do is come round and try and get up onto the track bed. Now, what I'll do to try and make it a little bit easier for you, and for me, if I don't trip over, is I'll put up rail map online now. Now, obviously, there's those yellow lines in the middle, that's Swanwick Junction. There wasn't a station there um, in the old days. There is now for this heritage line, but there wasn't then. There were sidings for Brands Colliery. You've got Britain Colliery just there as well. And there was a lot of sidings that went off to Butterley Works. You had the line going to Pie Bridge, you had the line going to Ambergate. Now, if you look to the right of the screen, it looks like one line goes south, one line goes north. The line going south is the Ambergate to Pie Bridge line, that's the main line. And the one going north is the Swanwick Colliery Branch. That's what we're going to walk today. All the way up, past Riddings, past Leebrook, past Summercoats, and we'll finish up in Swanwick, which is basically just on the outskirts of Alfreton. So we're just walking. Now we're about to come to some buffers and that'll be the end of that and then like I said earlier the the railway line is swallowed up by Riddings Industrial Estate for a bit so what you end up walking then is the tram line so to know where we're going we should see the tram line intersect this it should go underneath it um, so I'm kind of looking out now for, for an old tram bridge um, what I'm going off to be honest with you is just old maps so it's it, it's not much because obviously I don't know if it's actually here or not. Gotta get this. Gotta get this on film. The dog's going mad for it in the house, but it, it feels like someone's put this here on purpose. Oh, Andy, he's gone. <laughs> Saved by Phil. As ever. Hero. So this line was built in 1875 by the Midland Railway to connect their main line there at Swanwick Junction up to the collieries of Swanwick. Closed in 1968 along with the, with the colliery, unfortunately. But actually coal mining had gone on a hell of a lot longer than that in Swanwick. So in 1736, a guy called Charles Turner, Charles Turner of Swanwick died, but he didn't have an heir. So all his land, of which there was plenty, was basically divvied out amongst distant relatives and whatever and the, the executors of the will, they took a large chunk as well. And then years and years later, like we're talking decades and decades later, that land was passed through generations of them and they were the ones that in 1833, so nearly 100 years after he died to be fair, started sinking 
shafts down at Swanwick. So here we go, we're coming into the industrial estate. What we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna go back actually and get on that tram line. The tram line goes along there, so that's what we're gonna to have to follow for a bit. But obviously I wanna to get to the end of the line. So through there is Riddings Industrial Estate. So it's quite a big complex of obviously different industrial buildings and stuff. But there should be some buffers here. So I'm not sure what the Midland Railway used this for, for, for a while. Maybe they used it to store wagons and, and locomotives and stuff. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's have a look. Where's these buffers then? I can't see them, mate. No, exactly. No, I can't see them at all, mate. Well, it was, yeah. It's there, look. It's oh, can you can you see it? Time, it there, look. Can you see it there? Oh, mate, yeah, that is well overgrown, though. Just in there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that. Yeah, I don't think we're any closer to that. But there's the buffers, so that's the end of the line. So we're going to jump down on the tram line now. Yeah. So I keep calling it a tram line, and rather than a tramway. So Phil's, uh, Phil's reprimanded me and told me we're not in Blackpool. Tramway. Right, remember tramway instead of tram line. So we'll walk the tramway for a bit until we can get back on that, that line. Eventually we join the track bed again and then we're back on the colliery branch. Okay, I'm gonna film because this is me and falling over is a, a, a common occurrence. So I was out doing a walk the other day, as I am most days, and I fell over again. And I messaged my wife and I said, I've stacked it again. She replied, at least you're consistent. Can you, can't find that bridge then? No. Nope. So it doesn't really feel like a tramway at the minute. Um, but this was a tramway. Yeah. So we're kind of skirting around it a bit. The railway line is over there, those buffers that we couldn't really see that well. And it comes round in a like quite a big arc that comes round that, that estate. So obviously we, we kind of got to go straight up, unfortunately. So these different collieries that were sunk at Swanwick, there's quite a few different ones. You, you, you had what one was called Swanwick Colliery, and then you had Swanwick New Colliery, Swanwick Deep Colliery, and they're all basically going down to different seams, all on the same site, essentially. But there's one called Swanwick Common, and that was built in around about 1900. I saw one website saying it was built in 1900, another said 1903, so, you know, same sort of ballpark. And it's a really, really small working, a really tiny working, and there's actually only one or two of that sort of type of, of coal mine left in the world. So actually, just in the last six months, it's been given a designated safety status. It's become Historic England have given it, you know, an Historic England status, but a lot of people didn't even know it was there. I didn't know it was there, and I don't live that far from there, really. Um, but there's a new housing development right next to it, so I think well, probably what they've done is they've sort of cut down quite a lot of the woods, and then that's, um, that's revealed these headstocks, and they are still there. Um, it's just trying to find them, because we're not entirely sure exactly where, but you know, we'll see when we get there, won't we? So this is a little bit nicer now. It looks like a, a railway path, but Phil's saying, no, this is a straight line, this is the tramway. So this tramway originally took coal from those, those, those early days Swanwick collieries, um, and took them down to the Cromford Canal. Obviously, we've done some walks around the Cromford Canal before. Real significant, significant piece of, of industrial heritage, that. Um, and then obviously once the railway came along in 1875, it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, it knocks the, the, the tramway out of the park. Um, so shortly, as you can see, that, that's, the, 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 the railway line is somewhere in there, do you know what I mean? But eventually it will join in. So there's the tram line, that's what we've been walking on. And the, the colliery branch, the Midland Railway, comes in here. And straight now into that cutting and bosh, we are on the trap bed of the former railway line. Here we go then, first piece of, of proper infrastructure really since we left that track bed, or rather since we left the, the actual track line itself. It looks, it doesn't look very big does it in between, but I guess it was just a single single yeah. colliery branch. Things, yeah. yeah, and obviously that's new, they've replaced yeah. it. So there. always has been a footpath though, always that was. Before the Isaac State was built, it was always a new Right. 
There you go, red brick. Phil, it's wider here then, so you're saying there were sidings here? Well, I don't know whether there were sidings or a loop, but it was definitely two or three tracks wide, yeah. Okay. So it's quite thin back there, so I'm filming them. Oops. Um, and it gets wider here where there were those sidings or a loop. And then it gets thin again, and then we go around the corner. We'll go across the road in a second. There we go. I'm not entirely sure what that is, Phil, but it's railway related. But I'm not sure in, tall, in, in what capacity, whether there was a signal on there, maybe. Could be. Does it say anything on it? Yeah, I don't yeah. Think it no. no idea. Anyone watching this? Yeah. Hello, Hello, all right. So we think it was the last stop sign, the last signal to just before this crossing to basically tell them, here mate, stay here, um, and don't go over. But you might know better than me for that, so if you know this line and you know what that was, please comment. Okay, so we're coming up to the crossing. See, the railway went straight across there. What's this called? Lee Brooks Railway Path. And you're saying, Phil, that there was a, a crossing there was keeper's a hut, house here? Yeah, there was a little hut here. That, I mean, that there were some sidings up there, as you, you'll see how it widens out. There were two or three sidings, some sort of sorting siding, just without hands just gone up there. Right, right. And now it's a council or some kind of workshop entrance and plain fields entrance. So have we lost the track bed now then, we have to skirt around? We've lost it, yeah, the only, we, 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 we're right at the side of it now until you get to sleep more lane. You can just make out where the bridge went under, you can see the hump on the road. So we're back on the track bed now, ish. We're just skirting around the edge of the, the cricket ground. If we're being, Phil used the word finicky. If we're being finicky, this path we're walking on now is slightly to the left of the track bed. The track bed is basically sort of where my right arm is, but that's fine. But Andy, you were saying in terms of who owned these Swanwick pits? Uh, yeah, Swanwick pits, Alfton pits, and quite a few in the sort of area. They were all owned by uh, the Palmer Moorwood family who lived in Alfton Hall, which I think there's a wing left of it now. Um, it's where the leisure centre is. Um, and as most pits were, uh, owned by sort of individuals um, rather than companies and then when they got privatised just after the war uh, obviously all these people would have made a oh, yeah, nice he'd, little pocket. He'd have been cashing in, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably why he can afford to Alton live in Alton Alton Hall, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this became NCB, didn't it? It did. Everything became NCB. National Coal Board. So in a bit, where that guy's walking, this went under the road, didn't it, Phil? Yeah. But it doesn't anymore. It basically comes up and obviously that bridge has been taken out, unfortunately. So as you can see, it's going up to the road. That This was a cutting at that point there and that was a bridge going underneath. That's all been filled in. But Phil was saying that this here was a series of sidings. Okay, so we're coming across the road now. Now the path, Phil's just pointed out, it doesn't look like it, it follows the bridge because obviously look how the road humps there. It's almost like it went underneath there. But there's some pictures. So let's have a look. Well, there's Sleetmore Lane. Though, so this is, this is where we are then, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bridge road, definitely. So yeah, so it goes under. Now what we're going to do, is are we going to follow this round here? Yeah. Well, you can't actually follow that. You're going to, this is just basically, I mean, we're going to have to walk down a path which is at the side called the Yellow Brick Road. And this is all infill colliery waste. And so is pit wood. So all traces of this are just, Okay, we're not selling the end of the video at the moment, Phil. So we're going to come round, and then basically, where is the Swanwick Common Colliery from? Well, there's the old A61. You know when you go into the Granada Services, the garage, can you, you know when you go around the corner to have your car and the pumps, there's that little raised bit, that's still there up now, that, that, that will never taken away, it's curious. Oh, survival. okay, so Common... So the Common's over this side, yeah, the same, yeah. So that's where we're going to, so we're, we're here then, Yeah. so we're going to come up, try and sort of fumble around yeah, and then get to here because that's the uh, that's where the headstock still st stuck at the side of the road in the woods yeah but there's some colliery buildings and i know which ones they are i think it's some of these are still there at the back of the pestle station you'll see them as well oh okay and that's, oh, yeah, that's where that went i think it's them they're still there okay right let's keep going then okay so we lost the track bed it's buried deep 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 below as you can see we've come down this hill now at this point the line basically split off fanned out. If you look at different maps, there's 
there's lines going off left, right and centre to these different coal workings. We're going to try and get around as much as you can, but a lot of it's been built on top of now. So on this site, which is all an industrial estate now, there's, um, there was a bunch of different, they all come under Swanwick Colliery basically, but you had Swanwick New, Swanwick Deep, Swanwick uh, Common, which is one we're going to look at, and a couple of others as well. Um, and they were all basically trying to find different seams. So these lines fanned off to all those different pits essentially. So it was basically like five coal mines on top of one coal mine. So these are pit tips, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, look at the, it's a pretty big hill, that one. So site's basically decimated, can't really make out much to be fair. Apart from the fact that these were the spoil heaps of the colliery. We're coming up to the A38 now, which people might recognise obviously as, a, as a, a major thoroughfare, but it didn't always used to be the A38. No, so uh, the A38 is fairly newish in relative terms. The other side of it and part of this was all uh, owned by a gentleman called Robert Watchall, who was born in Afton, went to America, made his fortune, friends with Ab Abraham Lincoln, came back here and then he built a church, some houses, and a library, which is still there, called the, although it's not a library, called the uh, Abraham Lincoln Library, named after his friend, obviously. And there used to be uh, a lake at the bottom here as well, which was like a, an orma ornamental lake to sort of row in and paddling and things like that. Which is a lot nicer than this. Absolutely. Walking along the side of the A38 now, that's why you can hear that horrible, loud humming sound. And we're going to come back into what's Granada Services. So if people kind of, you know, commute or, or you know, truck drivers out there or whatever, be familiar with that. There's a lot of old colliery buildings in there. So we're going to come off this little path into there, have a look at them. And then we'll finish up at Sonic Common Colliery. So what we're walking on now, this is just basically at the side of those services pretty much. This was the old colliery road you're saying, Phil. Yeah. The original road to the colliery. Yeah, it's still there, part of it. It goes round the side of the Abraham Lincoln Library. Quite a for Right, so we've come out of the woods, and these are some, well, it's Alfreton joinery now, but it would have been buildings that were attached to that colliery. And that at the back there, that's a house. So Phil's just saying that could be, you know, maybe the site manager's house or something like that. That looks like an old colliery building as well there. Yeah. 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 Red brick's normally the clue, isn't it? from that sort of era. Yeah, that looks like one of the buildings. Okay, so we've come out of the services. Um, and now it's a case of finding these headstocks, basically, because this road that's here now wasn't here then. So you'd have had, you know, different lines and stuff coming around and what have you. So it is, um, it's hunt time. So there's the services, we've come you got the old colliery site up there. We've come down here, and it's in here somewhere. Okay, so we found it. So we just need to clamber down here and, and actually get around to it. There's another way that was a bit closer, but it's actually in someone's garden. So obviously we're not going to do that. This is a this is away from that garden. So let's see. So here we go, in the middle of a housing estate, look. And if you come round here, there it is, Swanwick Common Colliery. It's just sat there, that's incredible. There you go, is that the winding house there as well, look. And just through there, obviously, they're, they're building new builds, so they must have just discovered this. It's absolutely incredible. Wow, there you go, and there you go again, there's the, uh, the winding house look, and there's another look at that winding arm, wow, amazing, I'm going to come round here, just come out, so there's some steps there look, that would have gone in, into the building. And there you go, there's the winding arm again. Look at that. So that's us. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers, Phil. Yeah, you're welcome. Cheers, Andy. You're welcome.
We had a nice stomp down the Swanwick Colliery branch and I'm chuffed to bits that we managed to see Swanwick Common winding arm. As always, thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, all of it. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. See you later.